Hi friends, Larissa here, happiness archaeologist. I was driving home and something came to my mind and I just had to tell you about it without even much outline made ahead of time. Recently, someone had reminded me that the commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. Not more than yourself, not less than yourself. I think personally the assumption I always made was that, well, everybody loves themselves the most, and so these people mistreating their fellow human need to realize they need to treat them at least as wonderfully as they, they treat themselves. That's great in theory, but I think most people, especially high achievers, tend to be very hard on themselves and often give more to others than themselves, and that's noble and loving and wonderful but there comes a time when if you do that too much you can start crossing into martyr territory I remember when I was young I would hear stories of these women that would prepare a huge meal for their family and serve them at the table you know so they were standing while the whole family was eating and then by the time the family was done, it was time to clean up and she was doing everything and she never actually even got to eat her meal. She didn't get to sit with them. She was basically playing waitress the whole time and then doing all the dishes, everything herself for no good reason. She had done all this work and then she ended up maybe having a few bites, you know, standing over the kitchen counter like this. That's no way to live in my opinion. And I remember thinking to myself, there's no way I'm ever going to be in that situation. It's things need to be a team effort, collective, group, you know, everyone pitches in. There will be no woman serving the man and the masses, but a lot of wonderful people do it. Yes, it's more common with females, I think, in my experience, in my life, but it happens all around. And in my quest to better learn about boundary setting, I think it's really important that we recognize, yes, you can always think about what would Jesus do and, you know, I have to do this to be a good person, but if the negative feelings it causes outweigh the good that's happening, I think it's time to reevaluate. It's wonderful to be helpful, but if, if you're being used and it's taking away from you more than the great feeling you get from being helpful, to me that's a big sign because I believe that God made us so that when we do good things for others, we get to feel great, even if they do nothing back. But if you're in a situation where someone is constantly taking, that will deplete you. And if, if you're not in some way being replenished, you're eventually not going to have anything left to give, no matter what the resources we're talking about, time, energy, etc. So I think that it's very important to keep in mind that idea which had been pointed out to me. Love your neighbor as yourself, not more, not less. And keep in mind yourself is included in that. Love yourself, not just love your neighbor, love yourself and love your neighbor. Let that be an equal exchange, not an out of balance giving to depletion. So give and love and put love in the world but make sure you're getting love back for yourself whether it's from yourself or from the outside but make sure it's a balanced cycle so that you can keep on giving and bringing more wonderful love into the world you guys have a great week